Mr. Gunn? Yeah? I'm Nancy Davis, Mr. Wolfe's secretary. Oh. He's down this way. What happened? He was attacked by a dog. How serious? Well, it's not critical, but it's very serious. The doctor absolutely advised against any visitors, but Mr. Walker insisted I call you. Excuse me. Hello, Pete. I'm sorry, but no visitors. Come in, Pete. But Mr. Walker. This won't take long. You know what the doctor said. Beat it. Mr. Walker. Beat it. You want to make me really sick? I'll have to get the doctor. Yeah, why don't you do that? Look, Pete, I, uh... I had Nancy call for you because I... I got a job I want you to do. I can't pay you much, but... Well, if you're at all interested in moral rewards, this... This might pay pretty big dividends. What do you say, Pete? In your condition, you make it tough to refuse. Okay. I... I don't think this was an accident. I think that mutt was sick on me. Okay. You read my column? Every day. And you know I've been after Carl Kane. Yeah. You know Kane. He's a lot of scum. He's got his big, greasy political fingers in, in every rotten deal this side of the river. I've been exposing him. So far, I've had two warnings. Anonymous phone calls. Lay off or else. Obviously, this is the or else. Pete, find that man with the dog. You're the only one I can trust. There are too many people on Kane's payroll. Find him. And if there's a connection between him and Kane, I'll have enough to fix Mr. Kane's wagon for good. What kind of a dog was it? I didn't have time to notice. Big, lousy disposition. Anything else? Yeah. About a week ago, my house was broken into. I've gotten in the habit of locking up before I go to bed. The lock was jimmied. At first, I... I didn't find anything missing. And yesterday, I... I discovered one of my shoes was gone. One? Just one. Just enough to acquaint Joe Dog with the rare Walker scent. Now, look, Mr. Walker. It's all right, Doctor. This gentleman's from the Humane Society. He's afraid the dog might have gotten indigestion. We like to keep track of everyone that our dogs are biting this year. <laughs> Send me the bill, Pete. It's on the house. Mr. Gunn, Mr. Kane would like to talk to you. Get in, Mr. Gunn. It's about time we met. I just heard about Mr. Walker's unfortunate accident. Did he have an accident? Didn't you see him? Yeah. I understood he was attacked by a dog, that his condition is serious. He's in pretty bad shape, but I doubt if it was an accident. Really? That surprises me. That surprises me. I don't own a dog, Mr. Gunn. No. I'll bet you never did. I was hoping this conversation would be profitable to both of us. So far, it hasn't been much of a conversation. You're on my side of the river tonight, Mr. Gunn. Don't threaten me, Kane. I don't consider it necessary to threaten you, Gunn. I'm just giving you advice. Stay out of my way. Is that all? That about covers it. think I flatter. For what advancement may I hope from thee that no revenue hast but thy good spirits to feed and clothe thee? 
Why should the poor be flattered? No. Let the candied tongue lick absurd pomp and crook the pregnant hinges of the knee where thrift may follow fawning. Dost thou hear? For thou hast been as one in suffering all that suffers nothing. A man that fortune's buffets and reward hath tamed with equal thanks. And blessed are those whose blood and judgment is so well commingled that they are not a pipe. Fortune's finger to sound what stop she please. Give me that man that is not passion's slave, and I will wear him. Hello, Homer. Peter. Hi, Pete. How are you, Wankum? The air bites shrewdly. How about some coffee? Fine. Those of you gentlemen who have not had the pleasure, may I present Mr. Peter Gunn. Gentlemen, how do you do? Thanks. Sure, Pete. What happened to the little white fellow? They called him Bull while he still lived. But now the silent paths of night possess his voice. I'm sorry. The only sorrow in such companionship is that it must pass on before us. What can I do for you, Peter? Looking for a dog. Just a dog? No, a particular dog. Well-trained, vicious. An unfortunate dog. I don't think the man he attacked would agree with you. I don't know what kind of a dog, what he looked like, but unless he's been destroyed, he's still around. I've heard nothing of such a dog. If you do, would you call me at Mother's? I shall indeed. Thanks. Thanks, Winkum. Any time, Pete. Gentlemen. Come again, Mr. Glad Gunn. Glad to see you. Pleasure to meet you, sir. Mr. Treasurer. How much longer before supper? How about five minutes? Thank you. Where was I? Passion slave. Ah, yes. Give me that man that is not passion slave, and I will wear him in my heart's core. I. side of the river. Working for Kane. Want me to throw him out? He's got enough trouble I drinking your booze. Don't get around much anymore. Don't get around much anymore. Don't get around anymore. Do you know anything about dogs? What kind of dogs? Dogs. Four legs. Bark. No. Nope. How about George Walker? That newspaper man? Hmm. What's he got to do with dogs? One of them chewed him up tonight. Walker's been giving Kane a bad time, but that's a grisly way to square it. You know who might know about that dog? That literate old hobo with a menagerie. Now, what's his name? 
Homer Tweed. I've already seen him. Incidentally, he may call me here later. Well, offhand, that's about all I can suggest, but I'll put out the word. Thanks. Oh, uh, did you keep an eye on our friend at the bar? Sure. Making you a wish? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Uh-huh. Not going to tell me? Won't come true. You're no fun. Oh, is that what it is? Well, maybe if my wish comes true, you'll change your mind. Pete? Yes, dear love. Nice. Am I your dear love? Mm -hmm. That's nice. Do you like kids? Who's kids? Kids? Anybody's kids. Sure, I like kids. Why? Got another penny? Got a dime. Expensive wish. The other nine cents is for insurance. Come on, wish. Hey. It works. Was that it? <laughs> that was part of it. Well, good evening, Lieutenant. Can I see you a minute? Hello, Edith. Hi. I'm on in a minute anyway. Will you be around? I don't know, but I'll catch you later. Eleven cents gone to pot if you don't. On your mind. We just got a report. Someone broke into an apartment. Thought maybe you'd like to come along for the ride. Why me? It was your apartment. <laughs> I seem to be missing a shoe, one shoe. Walker was missing a shoe. Nothing else missing? Nope. I'd like to find that dog. I'd like to find the man that's got that dog. If Ken is really responsible, that's all we'd need. Well, one thing's sure, if they're still collecting shoes, the dog's around. There's more country on this side of the river. Easier to train a dog like that. Nobody would notice. You'll be careful for a while. Incidentally, one of Kane's men was on this side of the river tonight. I saw him in Mother's. I didn't notice. Probably ducked out when you came in. Hello. Uh, Mr. Gunn, this is Nancy Davis, Mr. Walker's secretary. Oh, yes. How are you, Miss Davis? I think I found out something that may be important. I don't want to tell you over the phone. Where could I meet you? Where do you live? No, you'd better not come here. I think I know where the man with the dog is. I'd better meet you at your place. Fine. Uh, 351 Ellis Park Road. Fine. Uh, I'll, I'll meet you in front. We'll have to drive out into the country. Bye. I'll wait. 
wait for you. Do you know Glenbrook? Generally. It's about 10 miles north. You'll have to show me the way. Now, just circle the park and get back on River Street. Right. You say you found out something about the man with the dog? Yes. When Mr. Walker told me he was sure the attack wasn't an accident, I remembered something. Mr. Gunn, I, th I think we're being followed. I'd better find out. He's still following us. Hang on. Jacoby, 90K, Lieutenant Jacoby, put out a call to all units. Blue convertible, license PBF. P is in Paul, B is in Baker, F is in Fox. 658, in the vicinity of Jefferson and Geary, probably heading toward Glenbrook. Man and a woman, woman driving. This is a code seven, do not apprehend. All units report as they contact. We've lost him. You're on the Glenbrook Road. You say you remember something? Look, Mr. Gum, maybe we just better forget the whole thing. I'm not anxious to end up in a hospital like Mr. Walker did. Look, why don't you just tell me the details? I'll take care of the risk. Is it worth it? Well, I told Walker I'd do what I could. You could very easily get yourself killed. That's always a possibility. Well, according to the information I got, the dog is in Glenbrook, on the outskirts at an old farm. Seven. Blue convertible heading north on Overland Road. I've got it. Ten thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. Yes, it is. I thought you were mixed up with Kane. This has nothing to do with Kane. Oh, come on. You were the only one that knew that Walker sent for me tonight. You called Kane and he waited for me outside the hospital. Do you want the 10,000 or don't you? What's the alternative? You won't like it. There are a lot of things I don't like. Kane's right up there at the top of the list. Take out your gun and put it on the seat. With your other hand. Now get out of the car. I really will shoot if you don't get out of the car. Close the door.
patrol from 13K, blue convertible, just past intersection, Overland Road and Cutting, heading for Glenbrook Bridge. Woman driving, no man in the car. Lieutenant Jacoby, alert all units in the Glenbrook vicinity. Code four, stop that convertible. What are you doing out here, Homer? Do you think this up all by yourself? No. Kane? Why you? Oh, Lord, the sin done for the things there's money in. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 